playing this game near your home Wi-Fi network? Or would you be better connected to your mobile data? What happens if a call comes in during the game? The final part of the jigsaw is how are Kahoot servers behaving while the live stream is happening? While we've had some great successful live streams, it is possible that some of these actions are outside my control and force us to suspend a game. However, we will reschedule the rest of the game for us to complete. So that's it folks. Thanks for watching and let's get ready for some live online quizzing. Hello and welcome to the online smartphone quiz powered by Kahoot and brought to you by Irish Entertainments. My name is John O'Connor and I'm the host for today's quiz. I'll be teaching you all the basics on how to play and interact with this quiz. Kahoot is used by billions of people worldwide and now we've made it possible for you to play with family and friends near and far. All you need to get started is the free Kahoot app, which is available on the Google Play and App Store. To launch the game on the big screen is a must, and we've made this possible by live streaming our quizzes via YouTube. Now you can head over to the game lobby, and get ready to enter your game pin. If you don't see the game pin at the top of the screen, this means it is a pay to play quiz. You can usually find out how to get access to this pin on the live video or in the YouTube video description. After you've obtained the pin, simply enter it in the app along with your email address and team name. When that's all done, just hit enter. You should now see your team name on the live stream. Here are some of the types of questions we will be asking. Multiple choice, true or false, picture, sequence puzzles, open-ended. Let's take a closer look at some of these questions. First, this is multiple choice. Our multiple choice questions are usually three choices and sometimes four. During the loading of each question, your device screen will constantly change to match the question format. So for this one, you will have four colors each with a different shape inside. Simply select the color which matches your answer. The key thing to remember here is that timing is everything in this quiz. The quicker you answer, the more points you earn. Keep an eye on that countdown. We have it set at 30 seconds. Note the time you will be seeing may not be a true reflection of the actual time as there is a lag which means a time delay in broadcasting and by the time it reaches you. Our advice is not to let the countdown to fall below 8 seconds on your end. If you're experiencing large gaps of time between your live stream video and the game app then try refreshing your YouTube live stream by stopping and starting it again. Okay, let's take a look at how speed earns more points and why that matters. Notice the iPhone on the left and the iPad on the right. The left side team has answered this question correctly. And a short while later, the one on the right has answered correctly also, but hasn't earned as many points. Next style question is called open-ended, or as we like to call it, first letter. In the open-ended, we can see on this occasion, it's a picture question. But rather than spelling the whole answer, all we ask for is the first letter of your answer. While we can accept full-length answers, it's much more convenient and faster. On the screen, you will see all the answers that have been submitted, but the only ones left standing are the correct ones. Let's give you another quick example of open questions but this time using numbers as an answer. Whenever we ask a question which requires a number for your answer, please only use digits and not numerical spellings. Simply enter the digit or digits and hit send. Again, all answers can be viewed, but only the correct one is left standing. And for now, finally, we have sequence puzzles. Players just need to place the answers in the correct order from left to right 
So that is it. That's the basics on how to play. But don't worry, if you didn't take it all in, I will be giving you a guide on each question as they appear in the quiz. While all this sounds great, and we love hosting online quizzes, and having players from all over the globe take part, the sad reality is that we are all reliant on other factors that are outside our control to make it a success. There are just a few things to keep in mind. Connected players and their own internet. Give yourself the best chance to stay connected to the game by selecting the best option like are you playing this game near your home Wi-Fi network or would you be better connected to your mobile data? What happens if a call comes in during the game? The final part of the jigsaw is how are Kahoot servers behaving while the live stream is happening? While we've had some great successful live streams, it is possible that some of these actions are outside my control and force us to suspend a game. However, we will reschedule the rest of the game for us to complete. So that's it folks. Thanks for watching and let's get ready for some live online quizzing. Hello and welcome to the online smartphone quiz powered by Kahoot and brought to you by Irish Entertainments. My name is John O'Connor and I'm the host for today's quiz. I'll be teaching you all the basics on how to play and interact with this quiz. Kahoot is used by billions of people worldwide and now we've made it possible for you to play with family and friends near and far. All you need to get started is the free Kahoot app which is available on the Google Play and App Store. To launch the game on the big screen is a must and we've made this possible by live streaming our quizzes via YouTube. Now you can head over to the game lobby and get ready to enter your game pin. If you don't see the game pin at the top of the screen this means it is a pay to play quiz. You can usually find out how to get access to this pin on the live video or in the YouTube video description. After you've obtained the pin simply enter it in the app along with your email address and team name. When that's all done, just hit enter. You should now see your team name on the live stream. Here are some of the types of questions we will be asking. Multiple choice, true or false, picture, sequence puzzles, open-ended. Let's take a closer look at some of these questions. First, this is multiple choice. Our multiple choice questions are usually three choices and sometimes four. During the loading of each question, your device screen will constantly change to match the question format. So for this one, you will have four colors, each with a different shape inside. Simply select the color which matches your answer. The key thing to remember here is that timing is everything in this quiz. The quicker you answer, the more points you earn. Keep an eye on that countdown. We have it set at 30 seconds. Note, the time you will be seeing may not be a true reflection of the actual time, as there is a lag, which means a time delay in broadcasting, and by the time it reaches you. Our advice is not to let the countdown to fall below 8 seconds on your end. If you're experiencing large gaps of time between your live stream video and the game app, then try refreshing your YouTube live stream by stopping and starting it again. Okay, let's take a look at how speed earns more points and why that matters. Notice the iPhone on the left and the iPad on the right. The left side team has answered this question correctly. And a short while later, the one on the right has answered correctly also, but hasn't earned as many points. Next style question is called open-ended, or as we like to call it, first letter. In the open-ended, we can see on this occasion, it's a picture question. But rather than spelling the whole answer, all we ask for is the first letter of your answer. While we can accept full-length answers, it's much more convenient and faster on the screen you will see all the answers that have been submitted 
but the only ones left standing are the correct ones. Let's give you another quick example of open questions, but this time using numbers as an answer. Whenever we ask a question which requires a number for your answer, please only use digits and not numerical spellings. Simply enter the digit or digits and hit send. Again, all answers can be viewed, but only the correct one is left standing. And for now, finally, we have sequence puzzles. Players just need to place the answers in the correct order from left to right. So that is it. That's the basics on how to play. But don't worry if you didn't take it all in. I will be giving you a guide on each question as they appear in the quiz. While all this sounds great, and we love hosting online quizzes and having players from all over the globe take part, the sad reality is that we are all reliant on other factors that are outside our control to make it a success. There are just a few things to keep in mind. Connected players and their own internet. Give yourself the best chance to stay connected to the game by selecting the best option like are you playing this game near your home Wi-Fi network? Or would you be better connected to your mobile data? What happens if a call comes in during the game? The final part of the jigsaw is how are Kahoot servers behaving while the live stream is happening? While we've had some great successful live streams, it is possible that some of these actions are outside my control and force us to suspend a game. However, we will reschedule the rest of the game for us to complete. So that's it folks. Thanks for watching and let's get ready for some live online quizzing. Hello and welcome to the online smartphone quiz powered by Kahoot and brought to you by Irish Entertainments. My name is John O'Connor and I'm the host for today's quiz. I'll be teaching you all the basics on how to play and interact with this quiz. Kahoot is used by billions of people worldwide and now we've made it possible for you to play with family and friends near and far. All you need to get started is the free Kahoot app which is available on the Google Play and App Store. To launch the game on the big screen is a must and we've made this possible by live streaming our quizzes via YouTube. Now you can head over to the game lobby get ready to enter your game pin. If you don't see the game pin at the top of the screen, this means it is a pay to play quiz. You can usually find out how to get access to this pin on the live video or in the YouTube video description. After you've obtained the pin, simply enter it in the app along with your email address and team name. When that's all done, just hit enter. You should now see your team name on the live stream. Here are some of the types of questions we will be asking. Multiple choice, true or false, picture, sequence puzzles, open-ended. Let's take a closer look at some of these questions. First, this is multiple choice. Our multiple choice questions are usually three choices and sometimes four. During the loading of each question, your device screen will constantly change to match the question format. So for this one, you will have four colors, each with a different shape inside. Simply select the color which matches your answer. The key thing to remember here is that timing is everything in this quiz. The quicker you answer, the more points you earn. Keep an eye on that countdown. We have it set at 30 seconds. Note the time you will be seeing may not be a true reflection of the actual time as there is a lag which means a time delay in broadcasting and by the time it reaches you. Our advice is not to let the countdown to fall below 8 seconds on your end. If you're experiencing large gaps of time between your live stream video and the game app then try refreshing your YouTube live stream by stopping and starting it again. Okay, let's take a look at how speed earns more points and why that matters. 
Notice the iPhone on the left and the iPad on the right. The left side team has answered this question correctly. And a short while later, the one on the right has answered correctly also, but hasn't earned as many points. Next style question is called open-ended, or as we like to call it, first letter. In the open-ended, we can see on this occasion, it's a picture question. But rather than spelling the whole answer, all we ask for is the first letter of your answer. While we can accept full-length answers, it's much more convenient and faster. On the screen, you will see all the answers that have been submitted, but the only ones left standing are the correct ones. Let's give you another quick example of open questions, but this time using numbers as an answer. Whenever we ask a question which requires a number for your answer, please only use digits and not numerical spellings. Simply enter the digit or digits and hit send. Again, all answers can be viewed, but only the correct one is left standing. And for now, finally, we have sequence puzzles. Players just need to place the answers in the correct order from left to right. So that is it. That's the basics on how to play. But don't worry, if you didn't take it all in, I will be giving you a guide on each question as they appear in the quiz. While all this sounds great, and we love hosting online quizzes, and having players from all over the globe take part, the sad reality is that we are all reliant on other factors that are outside our control to make it a success. There are just a few things to keep in mind. Connected players and their own internet. Give yourself the best chance to stay connected to the game by selecting the best option like are you playing this game near your home Wi-Fi network or would you be better connected to your mobile data? What happens if a call comes in during the game? The final part of the jigsaw is how are Kahoot servers behaving while the live stream is happening. While we've had some great successful live streams, it is possible that some of these actions are outside my control and force us to suspend a game. However, we will reschedule the rest of the game for us to complete. So that's it folks. Thanks for watching and let's get ready for some live online quizzing.
Yeah, it's a very good evening to you guys. Welcome to tonight's quiz. It is Saturday the 18th of April. Very good evening to you. This is the quiz for the Abbey side and Balnacorti quiz. Okay, so they booked this a couple of weeks ago. And boy, have they pushed this. Have a look at the numbers, folks, that we're dealing with. We've gone over 328 players. This is the most that I've ever hosted for. So that's great. Good to have you with us. We're going to give it a couple of more minutes. I'm sure there's a few latecomers into this. And we're about to begin our quiz. Hopefully you can hear me fine and everything looks good. Your app should be on standby. Ready to go. Okay, so we're heading for 350 players. That should happen any second there now. Okay, let's give a quick rundown on how tonight's quiz works. You may have seen the video stream just before we went live here on how to play it. We have 80 questions in total. There's a mixture of multiple choice, first letter of your answer, true or false, picture questions, and we have a few number questions in there as well. I'll be guiding you through each and every one of those just in case you haven't played it before or you didn't get to see the video at the start. We'll have a bit of fun with this tonight. Uh, hopefully good money is raised for those clubs tonight. And that we have a bit of fun. It's, uh, it's a fun quiz. Plenty of easy questions, I'm sure, in there as well. We're going to break it into uh, four sections for you tonight. 20 questions in each round. Four rounds in total. Should last about an hour and 15 minutes or thereabouts. We'll have for a uh, five minute break after each 20 questions. If you need to run to the bathrooms or top up those drinks... We'll allow that, no problems. Okay, so um, if we're all set and ready, we wish you all the very best. And have a bit of fun with this tonight. Okay, so folks, on we go. Here it is. All right, let's have a go. Question number one, kicking it off. It is multiple choice. What are you most likely to change by deed poll? Is it your weight, your name, your hair color, or your age? So what are you most likely to change by deed poll? Is it your weight, your name, your hair color, or your age? Lock in those answers before the countdown completes. In fact, you should do it before the last seven seconds on your end, just to allow for the time delay that YouTube puts on things. These numbers are crazy. I love it. Right, so 200... And 91 correct answers, your name, 20 of you thought you could change your age, 11 your weight, <laughs> and 4 of you said you should be able to change your hair colour. Okay, so on your screen now will be the uh, top 5 teams in tonight's quiz, you can see their scores, and on the bottom right hand corner of the app will be your scores, alright? Okay, question number 2, again this is multiple choice. Which of these refers to a place where fabulous riches are kept? Is it Aladdin's chamber? Is it Aladdin's cave? Aladdin's grotto or Aladdin's cellar? Lock in those answers quick as you can, folks. Remember, you get more points the faster you answer correctly. There's additional bonuses to be made as well for continuous, continuous correct answers. All right. Two hundred and ninety two correct answers with Aladdin's cave, thirty two with Aladdin's chamber. 
Okay, so there's the top five, as I said. Keep an eye on your scores, bottom right. Here's question three. Who directed the Leonardo DiCaprio film, Catch Me If You Can? Is it Rob Marshall, Peter Jackson, Steven Spielberg, or Alan Parker? So who directed the Leonardo DiCaprio film, Catch Me If You Can? Rob Marshall, Peter Jackson, Steven Spielberg, Alan Parker. Two hundred and thirty correct answers with Steven Spielberg. Correct answer. T Dog is the highest climber. Here's question four. Multiple choice. Which match of the day pundit famously said you can't win anything with kids? Was it Gary Lineker, Jimmy Hill, Alan Hansen, or Alan Shearer? So which of those pundits once said you can't win anything with kids? One hundred and eighty eight correct answers. It was Alan Hansen who said it. But the class of ninety two are in around that. JB is ice climber. Here's question number five. Multiple choice. Which scientist is famous for his theories of relativity? Is it Isaac Newton, Alexander Fleming, Benjamin Franklin, or Albert Einstein? Which of those was famous for his theories of relativity? Thirty-three correct answers with Einstein. Standards in the third place. Here is question six. Multiple choice. Which Lady Gaga single reached number one in the UK music charts first? Bad Romance, Telephone, Just Dance, Alejandro. So which Lady Gaga single reached number one in the UK music charts first? Bad Romance, Telephone, Just Dance, Alejandro. Okay, correct answer here. It wasn't the most popular answer, but it is Just Dance. And not Bad Romance, as many of you thought it was. Okay, question number seven. Staying with multiple choice. Say you don't need no diamond ring and I'll be satisfied. That's a line from which Beatles song? She loves you, love me do, can't buy me love, or all my loving. Say you don't need no diamond ring and I'll be satisfied. Is it she loves you, love me do, can't buy me love, or is it all my love?
Okay, 209 correct answers can find me. Love is the correct answer. Stanners in the lead. K99P, second place. Chris in third. Question eight, multiple choice. Liam Gallagher was formerly married to a member of what girl group? Is it Eternal, Spice Girls, Sugar Babes, All Saints? Got a music questions back to back here. Liam Gallagher was formerly married to a member of which girl group? Eternal, Spice Girls, Sugar Babes, All Saints. Sixty-four correct answers. It is All Saints. Quarantine is back in the game with an answer streak of three. Here's question nine. First letter of your answer. First one tonight. Careful with this. All I need is the first letter of your answer. What's the name of this country? First letter. That's all we need. No need to spell out the full thing. All I want is the first letter of your answer. Keep an eye on that countdown as well, folks. Don't leave it get too low on your end. Take a guess at it, and there's no penalties, of course, for incorrect answers. Right, let's have a look at the answers. It's computing all those answers. Give me the first letter. And it does take a little bit of time to calculate all those up. very busy with these ones just let me know in the chat if you've been disconnected or anything on that question we're on the live chat on YouTube if anybody can jump in there and let us know if you have been booted out of the game on that question disconnected I'm getting someone here now Okay, so we're just getting a few uh, words in that uh, that particular question has knocked a few teams out. I'm going to give it a couple of minutes to see if you can reconnect. So if anybody that has been disconnected and was able to reconnect, if you could let us know in the chat again, if you're back in. A lot of disconnected here. So we'll just give this a minute before we move on, folks. I want to make sure all teams are back in, if we can at all. If you have been disconnected and are able to relaunch back in exactly the same team name. So we're just going to scoot over to the next question, see if we can refresh the screen. If that's done anything for us. Right, okay, so some just looking at some of the messages coming in for that one. These numbers and uh, first letter answers are causing havoc, I see out there. Not to worry if we need to, we will reshuffle the game and get you back in. Okay. Someone said back in there. Some are getting back in with the same team name.
Okay, so what we might do... Some are getting back in by the looks of it. Um, if you could tweak, maybe put in the same team name with the number two after. See that some teams are getting back in here folks going to make a decision on this do we restart someone said came out of kahoot log back in and that worked fine someone saying can't get back in back in now after two after with two after the name So what we're going to do is going to reset um, the new pin number. We're going to put it up on the screen, so hopefully that might work. Or I may just text the organizer to te text you on the uh, the new pin number. We know from last night's feed, someone got a hold of the pin number and was malicious in sending bots and things into it. So give us a minute or two, folks, here, and we'll get you back in the quiz. Hello and welcome to the online smartphone quiz powered by Kahoot and brought to you by Irish Entertainers. My name is John O'Connor and I'm the host for today's quiz. I'll be teaching you all the basics on how to play and interact with this quiz. Kahoot is used by billions of people worldwide and now we've made it possible for you to play with family and friends near and far. All you need to get started is the free Kahoot app, which is available on the Google Play and App Store. To launch the game on the big screen is a must, and we've made this possible by live streaming our quizzes via YouTube. Now you can head over to the game lobby, get ready to enter your game pin. If you don't see the game pin at the top of the screen, this means it is a pay to play quiz. You can usually find out how to get access to this pin on the live video or in the YouTube video description. After you've obtained the pin, simply enter it in the app along with your email address and team name. When that's all done, just hit enter. You should now see your team name on the live stream. Here are some of the types of questions we will be asking. Multiple choice, True or false, picture, sequence puzzles, open-ended. Let's take a closer look at some of these questions. First, this is multiple choice. Our multiple choice questions are usually three choices and sometimes four.
we're back folks very shortly again we have a new pin and it's been texted to you i'm sure you're all connecting up as fast as you can we'll begin in just a minute or two thank you Okay, so folks, uh, we're back at the start, I believe, again. I think we came across the problem here that the first letter answers and this many players, they don't go well together. So let's hope that when we come across our first letter again, that we don't have a crash. If not, we'll have to roll out with a plan B. Do we have one? We'll see if we've got some more questions. We might have to organize that for you. Hopefully not. Um, so... There's still a, more, a couple of more teams still joining here. We're going to begin again. You'll be getting the same questions. You'll just be getting more points this time because you know the answers. And then we'll see how we get on when we get to that question where it's first letter of your answer. So 333 players connected and ready. I'm sure there might be more as we go along. So the questions, we're not going to spend too long on them. Multiple choice, get in there folks. You know the answers fast as you can what are you most likely to change by deep hole weight name color hair color age get in those answers all teams back on zero points <laughs> There's still people getting these wrong. They mustn't have been here for the start. 312, it is name. Okay. Top five. Question two, multiple choice. Which of these refers to a place where fabulous riches are kept? Aladdin's chamber, Aladdin's cave, Aladdin's grotto, Aladdin's cellar. Now, just on the off chance we do get a crash when we get to that first set of your answer what we might have to do is postpone the quiz for about an hour and we'll make all the questions multiple choice they always work fine but if we get a crash on a first letter we will have to postpone for about an hour and get back at a nine o'clock tonight let's hope we don't have to do that as it is a possibility big numbers as i said tonight this is the most we've ever had playing Eladdin's Cave 321 answering correctly question 3 multiple choice 
who directed the Leonardo DiCaprio film Catch Me If You Can. Rob Marshall, Peter Jackson, Steven Spielberg, Alan Parker. Three hundred twenty-seven. Correct answer, Steven Spielberg. Which match of the day pundit famously said, "You can't win anything with kids." Gary Lineker, Jimmy Hill, Alan Hansen, Alan Shearer. Three hundred twenty-five. Alan Hansen, correct answer. Question five. Which scientist famous for his theories of relativity? Isaac Newton, Alexander Fleming, Benjamin Franklin, Albert Einstein. Three hundred twenty-two correct answers. Einstein. Some of these teams mustn't have been here for the uh, first time around. Some cr incorrect answers here. Question six: Which Lady Gaga single reached number one in the UK music charts? Is it Bad Romance, Telephone, Just Dance, Alejandro? So which Lady Gaga single reached number one in UK charts first? Bad Romance, Telephone, Just Dance, Alejandro. Three hundred sixteen correct answers with Just Dance. Multiple choice. Question seven. Say you don't need no diamond ring and I'll be satisfied is a line from which Beatles song. She loves you, love me do, can't buy me love, all my loving. Three hundred and thirty one correct answers. Can't buy me love. Multiple choice. Liam Gallagher was formerly married to a member of what girl group? Is it Eternal Spice Girls, Sugar Babes, All Saints?
337 with All Saints. Okay, this is where the problem could rise once again. It's the picture question where we're looking for the first set of your answer. As I said, should it crash, we will postpone this for another hour and 10, 15 minutes to see if we can get a quiz with just multiple choice questions in it. It's all dependent on this because we have about 20 questions in total where we're looking for first letter of your answer. So fingers crossed, folks. Okay, that one seems to go through this time with uh, S for Sweden. 52 of you spelt out the answer. There was no need. First letter would have done just fine. Okay, it's allowing us to move on anyway. Who knows? We might be okay. Multiple choice. We're back to question 10 here. What is the traditional flavor of a stick of rock? Chocolate, lemon, peppermint, almond. Three hundred and twenty correct answers with peppermint. Okay. So, Aiden B, first place. Here's question eleven, multiple choice. Which of these is used to describe a period characterized by a lack of professionalism? Beginner week, amateur month, novice day, amateur hour. Three hundred and forty-nine locked in. Their answer: two hundred sixty-one. Correct answer: it is amateur hour. Okay, so here is question twelve. Multiple choice. In two thousand and two, PayPal was purchased by which internet company? Is it Google, Facebook, eBay, Amazon? One hundred thirty-four correct answers. It is eBay. Well done. 
Aiden will be back in the lead. Aze is back with an answer streak of three. Question 13, multiple choice. Which is the world's longest river? Is it the Mississippi? Is it the Nile? Is it the Danube? Or is it the Amazon? Two hundred and eighty two correct answers here is a river Nile. Well done. Question fourteen, multiple choice. On a blank check, which part is always left blank? Is it the pay's name, is it the date, signature, or the amount? Two hundred and forty eight correct answers with amount. Okay, so thirteen players just dropped their answer streak of thirteen. Multiple choice. Me with the floor show kicking with your torso is the opening line to what Robbie Williams number one single. Is it Candy, Rock DJ, Millennium, or Angels? Me with the floor show, kicking with your torso. Is the l opening line to what Robbie Williams number one single? Candy, Rock DJ, Millennium, or Angels? Three hundred and seven correct answers with Rock DJ. No change to the top five. Here's question sixteen. Multiple choice. The American gangster Al Capone famously used which of these jobs as a front for his illegal activities? Is it talent scout, furniture dealer, magician, animal trainer? Two seventy one furniture dealer is the correct answer. Well done. Question seventeen multiple choice. In two thousand seventeen, what organization released a playlist called Spooky Sounds from Across the Solar System? Spotify, NASA, Microsoft, 
Apple Music. Two hundred and thirty two correct answers. It was by NASA. Well done to those teams. Hero Dragon twenty three is the highest climber. Question eighteen, multiple choice. Calvados is a type of brandy made with which fruit? Plums, cherries, oranges, apples. Okay, so correct answer. Apples, 96 correct answers. Calvados. Full team, highest climber. Here we go. Next question. Question 19. Which football team won the first English Premier League title? Blackburn Rovers, Manchester United, Leeds United, it should be uh, Arsenal. Three hundred and forty seven teams locked in an answer. One hundred and sixty one correct answers with Manchester United, not Blackburn. Okay, let's play one more question before we take a short five minute break. It's a first letter. Let's hope it all goes well first. Who is the actor? First letter, first name. It's slowly revealed when you know the answer. First letter of your answer. fully revealed I'm sure there should be no problems remember you get more points the faster you answer Okay, so it is L. Leonardo DiCaprio is the correct answer. 309 correct answers. Here's the scoreboard after the first set of questions, folks. We're going to take a quick five minute break. Uh, we won't take one again until question 60 then, okay? We're back soon. Top up those drinks and we'll see you for the next round.
Okay, so folks, if you're ready to continue, we're going to give you the next set of questions. We're going to run through to question 60 before we take the next break, just to make up the time we lost at the start, okay? Hope it's going well for you and you're enjoying it, having a bit of fun with it. Not too hard, are they? Okay, so on we continue. Here we go. Question 21 is multiple choice. Tom Cruise went to which tropical island to... In the movie Cocktail, should I say? Tom Cruise went to which tropical island in the movie Cocktail? Was it the Bahamas, Hawaii, Jamaica, or Arab? Two correct answers with Jamaica. Okay, so top five. Here we go. Question 22, multiple choice. The line, all the world's a stage, is featured in which of Shakespeare's plays? Is it Measure for Measure, Henry V, Romeo and Juliet, or As You Like It? One hundred and seventy seven correct answers as you like it. Okay, so question number twenty three, multiple choice. Nairobi National Park is on what continent? Multiple choice. Nairobi National Park is on what continent? Europe, Africa, South America, Asia. It is Africa, 317 correct answers. Top five as they were. Here's question 24, multiple choice. Which instrument plays the two notes indicating the presence of the shark in the film Jaws? Is it a cello, a trumpet, or a kazoo? Forty-six said cello, thirty-two, a kazoo. All right, uh, there's the top five. No movers. Here is the next question. Twenty-five. In snooker, contact by the cue ball on another ball is called what? Pucker, a kiss, French. 
Frenchy, I'd say it should be. Three hundred nine correct answers. I said kiss. Six teams went with French, even though it should have been Frenchy. All right, scoreboard. Seeing it as it is, Flavins is making a comeback with three in a row. Multiple choice next. The Pritchett family features in what American sitcom? Pritchett family. Is it How I Met Your Mother? Thirty Rock. Is it Modern Family? Two hundred eighty four with modern family is the correct answer. Question twenty seven, first letter. Here we go. Which Manchester United player is credited with coining the phrase theatre of dreams? First letter, first name. So which Manchester United player is credited with coining the phrase theatre of dreams? First letter, first name. Correct answer here, it is B, Bobby Charlton. 120 correct answers. 21 players now have reached an answer streak of three. Multiple choice next, question 28. What is the most common shape of galaxy in the universe? Spiral, regular, elliptical. One hundred sixty correct answers with spiral is the correct answer here. Well done. Question twenty nine. First letter once again. Australian silky terrier is a breed of what animal? First letter of your answer.
Okay, so let's have a look. A couple of people with, with kangaroo. Bobby's coming in still. Uh, 279 said D and 13 wrote the full answer dog. Okay, moving on. Question 30 now. First letter once again. Whose logo is this? First letter, that's all we need. Whose logo is this? First letter of your answer. Right, let's have a look at the answers. It is N for Nestle. Okay, question 31, first letter. What Nobel Prize has been won by both a nun and an archbishop? First letter of your answer, what Nobel Prize has been won by both a nun and an archbishop? Correct answer. It is peace. First letter again. Here we go. Question 32. Most of Saturn's atmosphere is hydrogen and what other elements? First letter of your answer. No need to spell it out, folks. First letter. Most of Saturn's atmosphere is hydrogen and what other elements? Correct answer here, it is. Helium. Okay, so question, uh, where are we at next? We're on question 33. Octo is the Greek word for what number? Use a digit for this one, please, folks, using a digit. Octo is the Greek word for what number? You can type in a digit answer here.
Correct answer here. It is eight. Question 34, first letter of your answer. Which country's flag is this? All I need is the first letter of the country. Which country's flag is this? First letter of your answer. Correct answer here, it is Cyprus. Uh, Lackey into fourth place here on that one, O'Brien's highest climber. Here's question 35. On children's television, whose engine is bright and clean? First letter of your answer. On children's television, whose engine is bright and clean? First letter of your answer. Okay, so a lot of people thinking it was Thomas. It's actually Fireman Sam. And if you had F for that and you didn't get the points, we will add it at the end for you folks. Which member of One Direction has a surname meaning fashions? So we're looking for the first letter of the surname. Which member of One Direction has a surname? Or is it first letter, first name? I think it's first letter, first name, folks. Let's have a look at the answers. Harry Styles. H will do fine. The Dutch highest climber up 19 places. First letter. What is the seventh month of the year? First letter of your answer. What's the seventh month of the year?
Okay, let's have a look at your answers. It is J for July. Question 38, first letter. Which US singer had a hit in 1998 with How Do I Live? First letter, first name. Which US singer had a hit in 1998 with How Do I Live? First letter, first name. Three hundred and eight locked in answers. So many different answers coming in for that. Trisha Yearwood and all the likes. The Anne Rhymes, one hundred and one correct answers for it. Okay, question thirty nine. First letter. Toro is the Italian word for what animal? First letter of your answer. All sorts of answers coming in here. It is, of course, bull. B. Goosebumps in the lead. Question 40. Harley Quinn is the love interest of which Batman villain? First letter of your answer. Harley Quinn is the love interest of which Batman villain? Correct answer here, it is the Joker. Well done. The Gunners is making a comeback three in a row. Goosebumps still in the lead. Question 41, first letter. What company makes the cereal Honey Loops? First letter of your answer. What company makes the cereal Honey Loops?
correct answer here it is K for Kellogg's. First, let me answer question 42 here. The sinus rhythm is the normal rhythm of what organ? I need the first letter of your answer. The sinus rhythm, it's the normal rhythm of what organ? First letter of your answer. Correct answer here, it is not the lungs, it is H for the heart. 44 players just hit an answer streak of four correct answers back to back. Question 43, first letter. Blood Wars is the fifth film in what vampire franchise? First letter of your answer. Blood Wars, that is the fifth film in what vampire franchise? First letter of your answer. Let's have a look at the answers. I think we might be taking a short break here, folks, on this one, are we? Underworld, it is you for Underworld. Okay, so folks, we're gonna take a short break. I know there's a few people who need to run to bathrooms. So if you come back to us in five minutes, we will play the last part of tonight's quiz.
Okay, so folks, if we're all set and ready, we're going to continue with our quiz right now. Here comes the next question. Question 44, first letter. What relation to you is your uncle's son? First letter of your answer. Let's have a look at the answers. These ones do run a bit slower than these first letter ones. It is cousin. C is perfect. Second place team not getting that one correct. Is that true? First letter again. Here we go. Question 45. What space agency launched the Atlas series of shuttle flights? First letter of your answer. Correct answer here, it is N for NASA. Excellent. Some changes there, three teams moving up on the top five positions. Question 46 is first letter, which planet is this? Give me the first letter of your answer. Which planet is this? Twelve teams locked in their answers. They're just loading for us now. It is Jupiter. Tires the highest climber here, up fifty-seven places. Forty-seven. Question forty-seven. I don't care. Was a two thousand and fourteen number one for which for former girls allowed singer? First letter, first name. I don't care was a 2014 number one for which former Girls Aloud singer.
write a second of those answers. The Dean Coya, David Luby. <laughs> Cheryl is the correct answer. 219 correct answers, sorry. Burns is back in the answer streak. Three, well done. Goosebumps in the lead. What name connects a Martin Scorsese gangster film and a make of pizza? First letter of your answer. What name connects a Martin Scorsese gangster film and a make of pizza? Three hundred twenty-five locked in their answers. Let's have a look at those. Hey Julie, Pizza Hut. <laughs> it is good fellas. Goosebumps in the lead, as I said, uh, holding on to that position. Here's question forty-nine. We're back to multiple choice here. In two thousand and thirteen, which singer had her seventh UK number one single in seven consecutive years? Lady Gaga. Kylie Minogue, Rihanna. So in 2013, which singer had her seventh UK number one single in seven consecutive years? Lady Gaga, Kylie Minogue, or Rihanna? Correct answer here, it is Rihanna is the correct answer. Okay, so question number 50, multiple choice. The first powered airplane flight by the Wright brothers lasted how long? 12 seconds, 12 minutes, 12 hours. Okay, still here folks, gonna change the camera battery in just a second. The correct answer here is 12 seconds, 220 correct answers. Let's take a look at the scoreboard while we change the...
So, who played, which actor played Mr. Darcy on TV and a different Mr. Darcy twice on film? First letter, first name, as usual. Three hundred and thirteen blocked in their answer. Let's have a look at those. Correct answer here we got was Colin Firth for this one. Have we disconnections? It is possible we have some disconnections. Okay, so it looks like the first letter has uh, kicked us all out again, folks. So, we're going to decide whether we're going to continue uh, this quiz with just multiple choice questions and no more first letter of your answers. But, unlikely we will do it at this late stage, but we could come back to this tomorrow. I'll uh, have a chat with the organizers and see what works best. And uh, we will do multiple choice only. They seem to be the safest way with these quizzes. Again, it is uncharted area for us. We've never had this many teams connected to the server. I'm sure the Kahoot servers are under pressure, especially on Saturday nights for these. So if you could just bear with me, we're going to get in contact with the organizer and we'll see if we can continue this quiz same time tomorrow and just multiple choice. We're going to keep tonight's scores, add them to tomorrow night's scores and finish off this quiz one way or another. Back to you shortly, folks.
Okay, so folks, uh, welcome back. Um, we just had a little discussion there as to see what we're going to do forward. Um, it, it's not great when we get crashes like that, and it's completely out of my hands. All I could do is uh, write the questions and host the quiz. It is up to the Kahoot servers to be able to cope with these questions. But we've come up with a, a plan, and we hope you will uh, will go along with it. We want to continue this quiz, but it won't be happening tonight. We want to do it tomorrow at the same time, quarter past seven. And we're going to do just multiple choice the whole way through for the last 30 questions. We're going to add tonight's scores with tomorrow night's scores. So try and keep the very same team name as you had tonight or tomorrow night. So that makes it easier for us then to uh, put the two scores together. And as I said, that's the best way. We know that the multiple choice, they work perfectly for us. It's just these first letter questions and these high volumes of players that are playing this quiz across the world, I'm sure. Uh, during lockdown is overwhelming the servers so there's nothing more I can do personally for that apart from apologize for myself and the organizers for tonight's quiz so with that in mind folks hit subscribe on the channel hit the bell notification so when we go live you will be notified we're organizing it for uh, tomorrow quarter past seven we'll send you a new link and a new pin number but all we ask you to do is keep the same team name we're going to add both scores tonight's with tomorrow night's and we'll post up the results then on the facebook page john o'connor smartphone quiz that is a facebook page do uh, head over there and like that page as well so that's all we can do for now folks apologies again it was going well we got in uh, about 15 first letter questions without any problems but that is the risk we're going to get rid of those for the second part of the quiz tomorrow at 7 15. do join us again and uh, all i can say is uh, sorry about that folks but that's all we can do for now we'll see you tomorrow thanks guys